Namaste. My name is Rui Simra. I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak, I don't need a man, but I want a man. Need is what you must have, want is something that you desire. What is the difference between both? <laughs> Not so much. Because I have enough money or earn enough money. That is the reason for it. And I don't need protection. Yay! <laughs> Normally a man should provide money and protection. I don't need his money, but I appreciate getting his money. <laughs> I put my money in the bank and you spend your money for me and yourself. <laughs> that is the attitude of the successful women. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Women don't make money to spend their money on their husbands, kids and home. They want their money for themselves. She makes money so that she is independent of men. <laughs> so the men have to provide for all these things. She wants also emotional support. She wants companionship and not to be alone because it is healthy. And to be alone in the bed means anxiety, depression. She feels rejected. Nobody wants her. For 80% of all unhappy married wives, and that is even true for most uh, uh, marriages after five years, then most married wives are unhappy. Is it better to be together with their husbands than to be alone so they don't separate? She wants somebody who is caring for her. She wants to share her emotions with her partner. She wants to love somebody. She wants to kiss somebody. She wants to be held. Makes sense. No? Nobody can tell me that for a normal woman is a husband, boyfriend, lover not essential. And that is also, this is true also for men. Okay. We are social creatures. <laughs> the feminist Movement has created unhappy women. My God, I, it was fighting like crazy when I was a student. All this uh, 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 um, student, uh, uh, female student became feminist. It was just, I just turned around all the time. No? <laughs> They're awful. Even if you are totally independent as a woman, that doesn't mean that you don't like to share your life with a man. For a male is a feminist the worst person to partner with because feminists are continually at war with males. And now comes. Women's liberation is just a lot of foolishness. It's men who are discriminated against. They can't bear children and no one is likely to do anything about it. This quote is coming from Gola Meir, former female prime minister of Israel very awesome women, well known and famous, but now she's forgotten. Okay. A woman needs a partner who is superior to her in education, making money. That is a problem. Otherwise, she never can accept him as a partner. But what if she has a high position, making big money? She rarely finds any partner anymore. She isolates herself from men. <laughs> this is a problem for all the sexual African women in the USA they can't find a spouse. And until now, I don't know any very successful women who has a husband. Or very successful female entrepreneur. They're all solo. And even for instance for Vietnam Airlines, she is awesome, beautiful singer. Even more, the males in high positions and wealthy want a beautiful, sexy young girl and they want to feel superior. A young woman can much better adapt than a woman above 28 years old. This is why single women above 28 years old are called the leftover in Japan and in China and they can't find a husband anymore. And the Japanese and Chinese are wise. It is just so. <laughs> the men want kids 
with an as a man wants kids and with an aged wife it is a risk to get the kids then comes it again <laughs> men will never accept Indian women quote Gorda Meir <laughs> if the wife gets better opportunities earns more money than her husband she will disrespect her husband abuse him and finally destroy him the next problem is she doesn't like to compromise. She keeps nagging until the relationship is over and she commands and presses her husband to do things that he doesn't like. This is that I will never again partner with a female from Europe. They are all the same thing. They want to command, they want to press me to something and I say yes, ciao, ciao. It's all the same. I never have seen any exception. <laughs> the Germans jokes about wives, mother-in-law during their forties and uh, above characterize them always as house dragon. I thought as a kid this was only true for my mother. Now it is normal. It's better to partner with an Asian. Uh, and women. Believe me, <laughs> Thank you that I could speak to you and bye.